I'm Keitaro Tanaka from Waseda University, Japan. I want to make a presentation entitled Pitch Timbre Disentanglement of Musical Instrument Sounds based on VA based metric learning. Our research goal is to disentangle an arbitrary musical instrument sound into latent pitch and timbre representations. This disentanglement deals with musical sound played by any harmonic instruments. In addition to such a disentanglement, we also make the latent pitch and timbre spaces human interpretable. To achieve this, we introduce a metric learning technique into a VAE. So, what is disentanglement? Disentanglement is to describe complex data as a combination of independent factors so that each factor affects a particular aspect of the data. Disentanglement makes latent representations interpretable and enables us to intuitively control each factor in data generation. Especially in the field of music information retrieval, a sound is disentangled into three major elements, volume, timbre, and pitch. Among these three elements, volume can be computed easily with a signal processing technique and this disentanglement into timbre and pitch is mainly focused on. A popular approach is to train variational autoencoder, which is one of the deep latent variable models. The VAE has two latent spaces representing pitch and timbre respectively. The conventional approach assumes the Gaussian distributions correspond to individual pitches and timbres or instruments in each space. However, in assuming the Gaussian distributions, concrete category labels with the actual pitch or instrument names are used. This means that conventional approach did not aim to treat an arbitrary musical instrument sound. This approach set a finite number of the Gaussian distribution mixtures and all the target labels and data must be prepared beforehand for this purpose. Therefore, they cannot handle unseen pitches and timbres that are not included in the training data. This motivates us to develop a disentanglement method without using the concrete category labels to treat an arbitrary musical instrument sound. Instead of the labels, we use similarities and dissimilarities of samples. For this purpose, we introduced a metric learning technique which is used for representing the dissimilarities of samples as the distances in latent space. We map similar samples close to each other and dissimilar samples far away from each other in each space. Thanks to this metric learning technique, the DNN is trained by using only the information about the category match or mismatch of any two samples instead of using concrete category labels. This means that samples of unseen categories, pitches and timbres, that are not included in the training data can be dealt with. Such a learning technique is also known as zero-shot learning. Now I explain the flow of our method. First, we formulate a probabilistic model of the observed spectrogram with latent representations like this. This is an ordinary VAE with two independent latent variables. Second, we transform two observed spectrograms into the latent variables independently. So, each space has two T samples. Third, we conduct pairwise metric learning for these two T samples with contrastive loss functions. Hereafter, I explain our method in terms of pitch. Note that we take the same procedure for timbre. The first two terms represent the sum of distances between all latent variables pairs of the same spectrum. The last term represents the sum of distances between all latent variable pairs from different spectrograms. We add this term if the two spectrograms have the same pitch. Conversely, we subtract this term if the two spectrograms have different pitches. 
What contrastive loss functions do is pull similar samples close to each other and keep dissimilar samples far from each other in each latent space. This makes the latent pitch and timbre spaces human interpretable. Finally, we train the networks in a weekly supervised manner where only information on whether pitches and timbres of a pair of observed spectrums are identical or not is required. Here, the actual labels are not necessary. The training is conducted with the total loss function combining the VA loss and the contrastive losses. Alpha and beta are the hyperparameters to control the weights of the two contrastive losses. If you would like to know further details, please check our paper. Now I go on to the experimental evaluation. We used instrument sounds from the RWC music database, excepted for shakuhachi, soprano, and alto. We selected sounds of pitches from C3 to B5. We split the data into three sets. The training sets with 40 instruments and the evaluation sets with 10 instruments. For the evaluation sets, we applied two-fold cross-validation. Note that the three sets shared pitches but did not share instruments. This is the model configuration we used. We utilized the bidirectional long short term memory architecture for its encoder and decoder to capture temporal characteristics of sounds. We originally developed two evaluation criteria, the denseness and the divergence. The denseness shows how close the latent variables with the same pitch or timbre labels are, and the divergence shows how far the latent variables with different pitch or timbre labels are. The value of the denseness should be small, while the divergence should be large. This table shows the overall result. By introducing the metric learning, the denseness got smaller and the divergence got larger in both latent spaces as is to be expected. These figures show the visualization of the pitch and timbre spaces. The proposed method found better structured disentangled representations with pitch and timbre clusters for ancient musical instruments. For example, these variables of the cello are grouped better in the proposed VAE. These figures show the denseness for each pitch and unseen instrument. The proposed method achieved better denseness for most pitches and tumbles by using the contrastive losses. Finally, these figures show the divergence for each pitch and unseen instrument. In comparing the upper left and upper right matrices, the values of the elements along the diagonal got smaller and those distant from the diagonal got larger. This indicates that our method succeeded in making latent variables of similar pitches close to each other and those of different pitches far away from each other in the latent pitch space. In the lower matrices, the off-diagonal elements of the right matrix have larger values than those of the left matrix. This result demonstrated that the proposed method succeeded in mapping the different numbers to be distant from each other. In this study, we proposed the VAE-based method for disentangling a musical instrument sound into latent pitch and timbre representations. This disentanglement deals with music sound played by any harmonic instruments. In addition to such a disentanglement, we also make the latent pitch and timbre spaces Puma interpretable by introducing a metric learning technique into a VAE. We successfully disentangle the latent pitch and timbre representations compared to the vanilla VAE. Thank you for watching.